what's up gang and welcome back to my channel you guys today i'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to start your own eyelash brand in 2023 okay you guys so if you do not know who i am my name is Brittany. i am the ceo of be minked beauty and if you guys have not heard of us go ahead and pull out your phone right now and google us okay I wait. <laughs> so you guys, um, I started my company back in 2019. The end, really, honestly, the end of 2018. But like when I tell y'all, it was like literally the end of 2018. I just always said 2019. So um, I've been able to get my products in over 600 different locations from retailers to beauty supply stores um being online at walmart and being online at amazon.com okay you guys so if you do need any minks you have nowhere to go www.beminkbeauty.com so you guys i have my phone here um i really don't like to do too much talking um i like to get straight to the point because just like your time is valuable so is mine and i want to help as many beauties as i can with us only having what four months left of the year we'll be in september october november december yeah four months because it's beginning of september so we still count september so we got four months left, you guys, which is another time for you to plan and get what you need to get together to be able to launch your cosmetic brand in 2024. So let's go. Um, so I told I told y'all about me. Did I tell y'all my name? My name is Brittany. I don't know if I told y'all that. Y'all, I do not want this video to be all over the place. But um, you guys, building a cosmetic brand is hard work but it is achievable and that is like what makes it worthwhile and if you're willing to put in the hard work and dedication for any type of business whether it's cosmetics um toothpaste shoes hair whatever the case may be if you're willing to put in the work you will reap the benefits okay so when starting a eyelash brand and y'all i'm gonna be looking at my phone a lot because i really took notes for this video i'm so proud of myself you should be proud of me too and if y'all have not tried off subject if y'all have not tried the watermelon with the lemon on top y'all sleep okay y'all sleep that's all I'm, that's all i'm gonna say you sleep and you're missing out okay but so okay the first thing you want to start by doing when you start your eyelash brand you want to make sure you research and so basically what you might say what am i researching so you want to make sure you are researching everything from your vendors to your logo to um you know like what what is your brand going to bring like what problem is your brand going to be solving that other cosmetic brands are not solving you know so like for me one thing that my brand solves outside of making women look and feel beautiful on the outside as well as in the inside we one of the biggest things i wanted to solve was the lack of black owned cosmetic companies inside of these retailer spaces so a lot of you guys don't even know that when you are going into these retail stores and the product is giving black hmm do some research and see who that product is really by so outside of us solving that problem within the retail space we also wanted to solve the problem in offering cruelty free mink lashes as well as vegan mink 
lashes. So, and you guys, like y'all, when I tell y'all that is literally just the surface, okay? That is the surface of what we are doing, okay? So I just wanna give you guys some examples so you can kinda know what exactly you wanna be doing with your brand and different problems you wanna be solving. So a lot of people complain when they put their eyelashes on how certain eyelashes make their eyes itch. That is one of the biggest problems that we solve because the fibers that we use have been tested. So we make sure that you don't experience that itching and that irritation in the eye area because we are giving you good quality good quality eyelashes that have been tested so you know that like what you're getting is good it's premium it's good and you only get two pair of eye, eye, eyeballs okay you only get two so do your research what are you going to be doing what are you like what what are you doing research let's research okay so in addition to you researching research your target audience who are you going to be reaching are you going to be focused on the gen z are you going to be focused on gen x are you going to be focused on I don't know what the old people call because they're not baby boomers no more. They're like Gen Y or some Gen X, Y. I, I don't know. But who are you going to be focused on? Who is your target audience? You know what I'm saying? Who who are you trying to reach? Are you trying to reach single moms who work nine to fives, who need to just be able to grab their products and go? Like, who are you trying to reach? Okay. So once you figure that out you know just um you also want to make sure you're looking at current trends competitors all you it's a lot of things that you need to make sure you are researching okay but you guys i don't want to make it harder than what it has to be so you need to make sure you research your target audience the products that you're going to sell and I'm not, we're not gonna focus on so much as researching your competitors because that will come once you decide where you wanna be within your market. So then you'll kinda know. So that will kinda come later on. Um, so once you've figured out all of that good stuff, you've found out what you wanna do, how you're gonna do it, and how you're gonna pursue it, then you want to focus on your product development. So what that is, you want to make sure you create a range of high quality products. And I already gave you guys some, um, just some different specs and different things that you, you know, that you can show that you are using within your brand. Um, so yeah, you guys wanna make sure that you are catering to the needs of your target audience. That's why it's important to know who your target audience is and how you are going to be able to reach them. You cannot reach people if you do not know who you're targeting. Now for eyelashes, y'all, it's really easy to say like, oh, I wanna target everyone. I wanna target all the women. That's easier said than done because people are gonna immediately come see this video and be like, mm, them some big eyelashes. You know what I'm saying? But you guys, I have my days. I have my days where I wanna wear my big eyelashes. I have my days where I wanna wear my little bitty natural eyelashes. Those are two different women. I just so happen to be multiple people i can't help it okay i don't know i have multiple personalities depends on how i feel usually if i don't have my makeup done i won't wear these big lashes i wear natural lashes because i'm in my natural state and i like my big lashes for when my makeup is done but y'all i had just in my heart and so i wasn't doing no makeup because i was filming another video and y'all can go check that video out if y'all want to check out this hair tutorial that's neither here nor there stay on topic brick anyways 
so yes you want to see who your target audience is going to be because everybody don't want 25 millimeter lashes you know what i'm saying and when i told you guys how we make sure we solve a problem the problem that we another problem that we solve we make sure we have over a hundred different eyelash styles to make sure nobody gets left behind because like i said i'm so many people myself that it just depends on how I feel. So that was what, what I wanted to do to make my brand stand out and be different. I didn't wanna just offer 10 pair of lashes or five pair of simple lashes or anything like that. No, we have Russian eyelashes, we have mink eyelashes, we have faux mink eyelashes, we have lash extensions. You know what I'm saying? We have a plethora of different types of eyelashes to make sure that we are catering to the demographic that we want to cater to so so that's product development well okay. that's product development for you next you want to focus on your branding and packaging okay so you want to make sure you are investing in developing a strong brand identity you guys i cannot stress this enough it is so many people that i know who have started brands and have changed their logo so many times and y'all for me i'm kind of scared to switch up my logo because i'm gonna just show you so i've had this is this isn't my logo my logo is in that corner right there but this has okay this is my logo you guys see it? It's my logo. I don't know if you guys can see. So just my logo. And so I've had that logo for so long, you guys, to the point where now I'm kind of like scared to change it because it's my brand identity and this is what my beauties know and recognize. So would I change it completely? No, but I can revamp it and kind of spruce it up because this has been my logo for what I've only been in business for three years what three four years now so this has been my logo for the past three years yeah it's been my logo <laughs> but we've revamped we've done different stuff too but okay okay don't judge me judge your mama okay but no seriously guys um so you want to make sure you have a strong brand identity because you want your gang beauties whatever you want to call them i call them beauties um i also call them my lash gang it just kind of depends on how i feel that day um but so you want to make sure you have something that they can identify and that they know is yours the last thing you want to do is keep changing your logo and your brand to where they do not recognize your product or know whose is who you know so that is very big that is very big on your branding and your packaging after that you want to focus on your distribution so you want to basically determine the best way to distribute your products for me i am just now really getting into the whole e-commerce and shipping out online i struggle with that so um for me my focus was i rather just get it all done at one time ship it to the stores it works for me you know so you kind of have to figure out what works for you but with e-commerce being the future i have now started you know focusing on my e-commerce and i'm shipping out more and i'm making sure i am meeting my deadlines and stuff so it's more hectic with shipping um via e-commerce versus retail stores so you have to figure out what is going to be your distribution um channel what's going to work best for you maybe you want to do them all um i started doing them all 
and I love it, you know. Um, you gotta figure out what works for you, okay? Okay. After that, marketing and promotion. Marketing is so big, y'all, and that is still something that I struggle with to this day. And I cannot wait till I find me a good marketing team that could really help me with getting my social media to the next level. But you do want to make sure you have effective marketing. And so for me, my effective marketing was word of mouth. When I tell y'all I was everywhere, booming them lashes. What are you saying? I'm in the strip club. I'm in the store. I'm in, I'm at church. Okay. I'm pulling up. Like I'm telling you, you got to get the brand out there. You got to get the brand out there because y'all before social media, what did we have? Okay, and that's that's what people tend to forget before social media. What did we have? We had newspapers. Okay We have word of mouth Now you could definitely invest into some marketing It's completely up to you what you need to be marketing People can't buy what they don't know about, okay? And then you guys, customer service. Let's talk about it. Because the customer service be given, I don't wanna sell you nothing. But the whole point it's for you to be selling products. How are you upset? Like I don't I don't understand it. Like Oh see. But how are you upset as somebody who is trying to inquire to buy your products you guys cannot have piss poor customer service it just doesn't work you guys it does not work so make sure you have good customer service skills make sure you are responding to people in a timely manner make sure you are respectful make sure you are treating people the way you want to be treated and although no one should have to tell you this i feel like i have to tell you this because customer service is going to take you so much further with your business. You do not understand. People are so willing to work. People are so much more willing to work with people and companies who know how to effectively communicate and have good customer service. You cannot have an attitude because somebody asking you why it's been two weeks for their package to come and your website say that shipping is three to five days. Excuse me. You cannot be upset about that. You cannot have an attitude about that. That it, it's your job. When you take on the role of becoming an entrepreneur, you take on that responsibility. So get it done sis because you can do it i know you can do it i believe in you and as long as you believe in you it's gonna get done i'm just an extra factor okay and me believing in you it matter it don't matter it matters sis period and when you start that business you make sure you come back to this video and you comment below and you let me know how it's going for you um so yes you guys customer service is going to take you a long way now you want to make sure you are staying up to date like i told you guys before we're making sure like just trends and just the different things that are going on within the beauty industry you want to make sure you are staying up on that you guys 
um right now cluster lashes are in i do not wear cluster lashes because i don't know how to apply them so for a long time i kind of dragged my feet on dropping them because i'm like i don't use it <laughs> i don't girl this this brand is not about you i didn't start this business about me okay i kind of did because i had shaved off my hair and then i had one of this whole little journey to find it myself and i was like if i'm gonna be bought and be bought and cute so i kind of did but it's bigger than me okay it's bigger than me and that's why I'm, that's why i'm telling you because i want you to be better than me okay that's what i'm telling you like do do better do better the business is not about you it's not and i had to learn that the hard way okay so that's why i'm telling you just because it's something you don't like or you don't do if you have a business you need to be seeing up on the trends get you an influencer that know how to do it or find you somebody that that knows how or learn take people on a journey to learn how to apply the clusters and doing the stuff that they need to do while using your brand you know um so yes you guys those are those are really it for the tips that i have you on how to start a eyelash brand in 2023 eyelash slash cosmetics um now i'm just gonna add ask i'm just gonna answer just like a few different questions that i have received in my emails um so one of the questions was how do you basically how do you stand out and so if you are failing to you know differentiate your brand from your competitors it is going to result in your brand not being as successful so you want to make sure that you are finding ways to stand out whether it's your packaging whether it's your marketing whether it's you know what i'm saying i i don't know you have you have to figure out what it what what it is going to be because do you think all these other cosmetic brands care no do you think all the other peanut butter and jelly people cared no they still came out with their peanut butter and they still came out with their jelly like y'all it's orange jelly on the shelf who's eating that obviously somebody because it wouldn't be on the shelf i'm just saying but hey, don't shoot the messenger so you guys find a way to be different if it's offering a bunch of styles i.e that's what we do you know, we find a way to be different from our competitors. We don't want to just offer the same old 15, 20 styles and da, da, da. No, we're not doing that. Like we have a bunch of different styles and we're always dropping different stuff and switching out stuff. So yeah, you guys have to figure out a way to be different. Um, you know, another thing, like I already touched on the marketing and effective marketing will lead to failure that's just what it is um now if you guys want to know like how much capital you need um because that was one of the questions how much capital do i need to start my own eyelash brand the capital is going to vary because it just depends you know what i'm saying it just kind of depends y'all so for me i started my eyelash brand with 300 dollars um for my first order now prior to me actually even spending my money i did wholesale wholesale that's not what i did i did pre-orders so that's what worked for me you know what i'm saying and you guys i honestly do not want this video to be super super long so if you guys are wanting a part two I try to answer questions as well as give you guys tips and stuff if you guys want a part two go ahead and comment that down in the comments you guys i really really hope this helps you to be able to launch your cosmetic company in 2024 so you can be great because why not it's enough room you guys the cosmetic industry is set to literally what double from where it is it's set to go up like some percentages 
on where it's at right now. And it's already a billion dollar industry. So it's only going up from there. Find your lane and dominate it, okay? Whether it is lip gloss, makeup, eyelashes, press on nails, whatever it is, you guys, find your lane and have at it. I love you and God loves you too. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Bye.